Welcome to Quick Tips, short tutorials to help you use technology better. In this segment, we're going to talk about Blackboard Collaborate, Part 1, Getting Started. In this segment, we'll talk about how to log in and open Collaborate, create a tool link to Collaborate, create and launch a session, run the audio setup wizard, and start a session recording. Open Blackboard, then locate and open your course. Your students have two options for accessing Collaborate. The first is through the Tools menu. Click Tools and click Blackboard Collaborate. The second option is through you, the instructor. On the Content menu, click the plus sign and click Create Tool Link. Type in a name for the tool link and choose a tool link type. Use Blackboard Collaborate Scheduling Manager. Click Available to Users and click Submit. When students access Collaborate, they can click the Collaborate link and go directly to Collaborate. The Blackboard Collaborate list page opens. Click Create Session. Give the session a title. Scroll down. You can schedule the session by clicking the Calendar and Clock buttons for start and end dates. Also note your Early Session Entry button click the drop-down arrow to choose a session entry time. You should give yourself at least 15 minutes before starting a session. Scroll back up and click Participation. As the instructor in the course, you are automatically a moderator. Moderator have some control over the interface, including the ability to add content and add and remove participant permissions. To add a participant as a moderator, click their name and click the arrow to place them in the moderator section. Click Submit. The Collaborate List page opens. This time you have a Collaborate session listed. To enter the session, click the link. The session will start automatically. As soon as the session begins, go to the Audio Video panel and click the Audio Setup Wizard. The Audio Setup Wizard will allow you to set up your speakers and microphone for optimal quality. Choose a device, click OK, and begin the process. There will be a series of prompts. Follow them until the wizard is complete. When you've completed the Audio and Video Wizard, you will see a recording reminder in the upper right hand corner of the screen. This recording reminder will allow you to record and archive the session. You can either start the recording or close the recording. If you close the recording, you can load your content and wait for students to appear in the course. Once everyone has entered the session, click the record button to begin the recording. Click OK.